Hello everybody. We hope you're enjoying your spring break. We hope it's been a great week for you. We're going to finish up our week with a spring hat. So I just want to tell you a little bit about the spring hat. Um, we have one here that is in the museum collection and this is from the Victorian era. The Victorian era was from 1837 till 1901. And that is the time that Queen Victoria was the Queen of England. So as you can see, this hat is very much decorated. And our little hat here is going to have some fun decorations on it too. But the Victorians love to bring nature into their clothing and into their homes. So you have to remember this hat is probably like 110, 15 years old. So it's not looking its best, but you can imagine they would decorate it with, you can see there are feathers. Uh, they'd have branches, they'd have flowers and even dead birds. Dead birds were a very popular thing to put on your hat. So we are going to make our own little spring hat today. And you can see that we're going to decorate it with a number of things as well. So when you get your kit, your kit will have one plate, green on the front, plain white on the back. It will have a little bag of ornaments that you can stick on your hat. These are all self stick, they just peel and stick. You'll be able to dump them out and have a look at what you have. If you have things that look like this and this, these are flowers. So this is your flower stem and this is the petals for the top. Okay. And you might have a pretty looking rose like this. You may even have a little bird. Some of the kits are different than the others. So when you pour yours out, you'll be able to see exactly what you have to work with to decorate your hat. The very first thing, oh, you also need, sorry, a ruler a pencil and scissors, which are not in your kit. All right. The first thing we're going to do is turn our plate over and put it flat on your table or wherever you're working. Now we're going to cut this up. Well, we're going to draw on it first and it'll end up being cut up like a pizza so you can see all these pieces here but I'll show you that again in a second first I'm going to show you how to make the lines so you're going to go about halfway down your hat a grown-up might be able to help you with this just to get the right distance and you make a straight line across the hat I'm going to hold it up for you to see again there's my straight line right across the hat you can see that I have not gone down the sides just on the flat bottom. Put it down and we're going to do some crisscross applesauce. So you're going to make a crisscross with another line. And again, you can see that I have not gone down the sides. And then you're going to make another crisscross. And yet one more. All right, so there we have. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles on the back of your plate. We need to cut these lines. You may be able to get a grown up to help you start in the middle. That's the easiest place to start is at your center point. So if a grown up can poke a hole in there for you and just maybe get your scissor going for you, you'll be able to cut. But remember, don't cut past that line. Don't cut all the way down here, okay? So, just like I have done with mine, you can see I've cut all of these triangles but have not gone down the sides. Once you have that done, the next step is, so what I've done here, not to confuse you, but I've decorated half of it and the other half I left plain so I can show you the different steps. So you're going to take 
the plain ones and fold them up like this. Okay, so from the back, you're folding them up. Again, don't rip past this part. Just stop where that center line is. And I have forgotten to cut one. So I'll show you quickly how I would do it. See, I'm only going to that part right there. I didn't go any further. And I'm going to bend that up like that. So the green ones are standing up. And then you can start decorating. So that's where I you can take, I'm going to take this flower and I'm going to stick it right on there. And as you see, we have given you enough as you go all the way around that you will have enough to decorate all of your pieces as well. Once it's done, I think my head's going to be a little bit big, but I'm going to try and put it on. See? It would sit on your head. And again, my head's a grown-up head, so it's a little bit too big. But it'll sit on your head. If you have ribbons, maybe streamers or something at home, you can use more than what we give you. You can put as many decorations on your hat as you like. Whatever you choose to do with it, we hope you love to wear it and have a good time making it. Bye for now.